What's up, a Cinema Show Gun here, and when the body cam footage of the Tyree Nichols situation released, people immediately started saying that this looked personal. That it almost looked as if one of these officers, or maybe even a couple of these officers, knew Tyree, or had some beef with Tyree, or that possibly people even speculated that Tyree maybe had a relationship or an affair with one of these cops' wives or girlfriends. And in part of the footage, people pointed out that it looked like one of these cops took a picture of Tyree as he was bloody and beaten, propped up against the car, and it looked as if a cop took a picture of Tyree and possibly sent it to some people. And then, of course, online, people were speculating like, hey, that officer knows some lady or has a lady friend, I don't know, a girlfriend, a wife, or someone who Tyree was talking to as well or romantically involved with as well. You know, the internet speculates a lot. And I understand why they do that. But at the same time, you got to be careful when reporting on information because you don't know what's fact and what's fiction. Now, Tyree Nichols' family actually spoke out and they shot down these, what we thought were possibly rumors. They shot down these rumors because I guess they didn't know. And in many ways, some people were almost using this as an excuse to paint Tyree in like a negative light. Because, I mean, we obviously know he didn't do anything to deserve what happened to him. So people were trying to say, oh, it's because he was, you know, sleeping with this guy's wife or girlfriend. And that's why this happened. And in ways, people were using it to paint Tyree in a negative light. So I understand why his family came out and was like, hey, none of this is true. Because we didn't know if it was true or not until now. Now, I don't know all of the context behind it. I don't know about the relationships that Tyree may or may not have had with this one of these women that the cops knew, but it has now been confirmed breaking news that one of these officers texted a photo of Tyree to like, I believe six people. Let's go ahead and hop into this article really quick. As Tyree Nichols sat propped up against a police car, bloodied, dazed, and handcuffed after being beaten by a group of Memphis police officers, one of those officers took a picture of him and sent it to at least five people, the Memphis Police Department said in documents released by the state on Tuesday. The documents painted a picture of a series of misconduct by the officers starting in the first moments after Nichols was pulled over for a traffic stop through an arrest carried out with excessive force and continuing on through the many minutes when Mr. Nichols lay on the street in dire need of medical help. Sending the photograph taken on a personal cell phone to acquaintances, including at least one outside of the police department, violated policies about keeping information confidential, according to the documents. But police officials said it was also part of a pattern, mocking, abusive, and blatantly unprofessional behavior by the officers that also included shouting profanities at Mr. Nichols, laughing after the beating and bragging about their involvement. The revelations came in internal affairs documents that, that the Memphis Police Department sent to a state agency in which the department asked for the five officers who have been charged with second degree murder and Nichols' death to be decertified, meaning they could no longer work as police officers anywhere in the state. In the newly released documents, police officials said that Mr. Haley had admitted to sending a photograph of Mr. Nichols to at least five people, including two fellow officers, a civilian employee of the department, and a female acquaintance. A sixth person 
also received a photo, the records state, but they don't say who that sixth person is. Now, Officer Demetrius Haley, the one who sent the photographs, is also the one who forced Tyree out of his vehicle. So, in many ways, this began and ended with him. So, if there are truths to these rumors about Tyree possibly being involved with the female that one of these officers knew, then it is that officer, 100%. And now we know that, like I said, we don't know the context behind the photos. We don't know why these photos were sent out. It's starting to look like to me that the rumors seem to be a little more true than what we originally thought, or at least I originally thought. A lot of this stuff was speculation that was just thrown online, but sometimes it sticks. And right here, it is looking like it sticks. Why would he take a photo? I mean, knowing this is the officer that initially forced him out the vehicle, and then knowing that after beating this guy, to take a photo of him, and not only did you send it to a couple of fellow officers and co-workers, I guess you could say. But you sent it to a female acquaintance that's outside of the police department. Why would you do that? I mean, if I'm a cop and I just committed a crime, basically, and just brutally beat someone with fellow officers, I wouldn't take a picture of that and send it to some girl that I'm dating. Like, I mean... You 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 know you know what I mean? Like that's not normal behavior. That's like vindictive behavior. That would definitely lead me to believe that, yeah, maybe Tyree did know this woman or was involved in this woman and this guy was jealous and this was just a retaliation to that and nothing more. Because that's what this is beginning to look like. Like I said in my last video I made about this topic. I understand why people were circulating around these rumors because when you watch the video, and I've seen, you know, a lot of videos of cops doing a lot of crazy things, you know, but this one felt really personal. You know, like standing the guy up and taking turns, punching him and passing him around and kicking him. And it felt personal. And it's looking like it was personal. Doing this alone, it, the act alone of what happened to Tyree is horrible. But knowing that someone would do that and then take photos and brag about it and send them around to people, that makes it even worse. And in my opinion, that makes it look, from the outside looking in, that makes it look way more personal. So I'm wondering, this is speculation, maybe... Other people in the workforce, maybe fellow officers, someone working at the police department knew of whatever situation was going down. So the officer showed them and then showed this lady friend of his. I honestly, I don't want to even speculate too much. I'll just go ahead and nip myself in the bud there because I could go off here. And I know a lot of you all can as well. Feel free to do so in the comment section. But at the very least, we now know. Yeah. There is something to these rumors. They're looking a lot. They're not looking like rumors really anymore at this point. And this, if you want me to just call it what it is, this is looking mighty personal to me. And if that's the case, this is a whole another animal, if you ask me. Meaning that like the situation was already bad enough. But if this is something personal, I, I feel like that makes it even worse. And I feel like we're looking at major lawsuits and Lord knows what else. But let me know your thoughts down in the comments. While you're down there, hit the thumbs up, hit the subscribe button, ring that notification bell. And I'll talk to you all in the next video.